Hey ladies, it's me again. Two videos in one night. This is your lucky night. Um, since I just took my jams off, I figured I should go ahead and show you again how to put them on. I put a video like this on a few weeks back. Might as well try it again um, just to show you how quick and easy it truly is. Fun fact, I was wearing the same t-shirt last time I filmed the video. I do own more than this t-shirt, but this is one of my favorites. Super comfy, indigo rose tattoo, great place to go in Columbia. Anyway, side note. Um, so, again, I picked three wraps. Can't pick just one. I have a very difficult time making decisions. Um, I have picked Diamond Dust, Prep School, and Fountain of Youth. I've got a little sparkle this time. We're going to give a shot. Um, I have my handy dandy Jamberry heater. You can hear it makes a little noise. Not very much. Great constant flow of heat. I'll set that over here. To do the cold application, all you have to do is lift up your wrap with an orange stick. Cut it in half so it's easier to work with. Give it a little snip there. Um, I use my fingers when I put my wraps on. I don't use the orange sticks. It's just too difficult for me. I don't have that kind of dexterity. Um, so I take the wrap, place it on the finger. If I don't like where it lines up, I can lift it up and try it again. That's good. Um, I give it a little bit of pressure once I have initially placed it. Then I'm going to, I trim off the tip real quick just because that makes it easier for me to work with. I'm going to put it in front of the heater just for a couple seconds. Um, press it down again. As much pressure as you can. And I also like to take my cuticle pusher and go around the edges, get a really nice, smooth, even seal. I don't want any bubbles. I don't want any ridges. If you happen to get any bumps, any ridges, just stick it back in front of the heater a few more seconds and just work them out nice and easy. Now I'm going to leave it like this for just a minute while I put on another wrap or two because I want it to cool down before I work with it anymore. I want to let um, that heat do its trick. So next finger, I'm going to do, we're going to do prep school. We're going to do stripe. Um, again, I just need to lift it up, orange stick, and cut it in half to make it easier to work with. And I'm just going to take it and place it on my finger. Um, I've applied my jamberries several times, so I know which size wrap goes best on each finger. It may take you a little time to figure this out with the first couple applications. Once you do, keep track of it. It's going to save you so much time. I have my same drawing that I've had since I first started applying jamberry months and months ago. You think, terrible. Little picture, little drawing. Not an artist. Um, ten fingers, it shows exactly which number wrap fits best on each finger. Alright, so I've pressed it down a little bit. Again, I want to snip off just a little bit there at the tip. Again, just to make it easier for me, not necessary. Stick it in front of the heater for a few seconds. And give it some more pressure now that that heat has been applied to it. I like to give it a little second hit of heat. I know I like when I say hit of heat. I had a few comments about that. I don't know why I say it. I just do. Cuticle pusher. Go around the edges. Get a nice good seal. Now before I applied them, I did push back my cuticles. I did go ahead and use a buffer block and wipe them down with alcohol wipes. Um, that's just to really ensure that you get the best possible nail bed to work with. All right, one more diamond dust because it's so pretty and I've been looking at it for so long and haven't used it yet. 
Lift it up. Cut it in half. Take it, comb, lay it right down there. And your finger. Get it exactly where you want it. Don't settle for eh, pretty close. Um, line it up. Make sure it's not touching the skin. Very important. If it starts to get a little sticky, just put it in front of the heat. It's going to smooth it right out. All right. Press it down just a little bit. Snip off the top. Personal preference. Give it a little bit of heat. And apply a little more pressure. I'm not sure all of it is adhering. I'm going to go around the edges with my cuticle pusher. Make sure I don't have any bubbles. Make sure it's not lifted up anywhere. Okay. Now, the quick, easy part. Um, I guess it's really my favorite shortcut that I've found, and that is to clip the ends. I don't like filing down. It gives me rough edges. So I'm going to take these three. You can see, scraggly looking. And I am going to clip a little tiny bit of nail with the wrap. Nice and even. When I clip, I find that I don't have those rough edges that catch. It just works better for me. Um, play around until you find what works best for you. This is it for me. Again, moving on to the next nail. Flipping it off. This one has stripes, so you know I have to cut it exactly even. Okay. Moving on to the third one. This is really all the time it takes. This is not a long process. Uh, let me trim a little more. I don't like long nails on myself. Personal preference. Everybody's different. Okay. I gotta check it out. I'm a perfectionist. Sorry. This one needs a little bit more trimming here. I was doing my niece's nails um, a while back, and I kept going back, going back, going back. And she was like, okay, it's good. I was like, no, no, it has to be perfect. She told me, no, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I said, yes, it does. Um, all right. That's it. I'm happy with them. Let me show you. we have got Fountain of Youth, Prep School, Diamond Dust, all nice and even. No rough edges. Pretty edges. Pretty nice. Um, I'm going to finish my Jamicure. Let me know if you have any questions about yours. I'm happy to help you out. I have had my bumps and mishaps. Happy to help you avoid those and fix any problems that you may have. Thank you so much. Y'all have a great night.